He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Isaiah 40, 29. welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Jaquela if you're new and in today's video I'm gonna be sharing how my hair pretty much just came out in the back and how I have to start over um yeah I'm really upset about that like I I can't believe it but it is what it is I have to start over it and uh, it's a very humbling experience but if you guys know, my channel is based off of me growing my hair out in the back because I experience um, traction alopecia in the back from wearing wigs all the time and wearing it with an elastic band. And so pretty much I was growing out my hair and I was using mini braids. But the last time I had mini braids, I took them out and in the back hair, like, you know, how at the root you you know like you feel that build up but you just assume that that's all it is is build up when i was taking down my braids in the back like hair was coming out like a lot of hair and when i looked in the back of my head there was just like this this section of hair in the back that was just really it was super short my hair in the back had got to about three inches and the rest of my hair like in that section wasn't even an inch and it just sucked it sucked so much I was so upset I, I didn't know what happened and honestly to this day I really don't know what happened but I decided to cut off the section that was still long and just start over because I didn't want to be playing catch up with my hair like in that trouble area and then I also didn't want that trouble area to get worse to get possibly bald or for it to grow and expand so yeah it's so upsetting it's literally so upsetting but there are a few factors to why I feel like my hair came out I don't know exactly if it's all of them one of them like I don't know but one being I was wearing my hair maybe too often in the mini braids. Um, mini braids have definitely helped grow my hair out, but it could be that I was just doing it too much and my hair never did get a chance to actually breathe. I would take down my hair, then I would wash it, and then I'll blow dry it, and then I would either do my hair that same day or do it the next day. Like my hair never had time to actually just be out in like some twists like just like my natural hair and twist or like my natural hair and braids and just kind of chill um I don't even know why I work from home I don't even go anywhere but I just I didn't do that so I know moving forward after like well between each protective style I'm definitely going to give my hair some time to breathe and it could be because I kept doing mini braids like I never switched it up like I literally would change maybe the length or the color of the mini braids but I kept doing mini braids so one of those two factors wearing mini braids too often or not giving my hair time to breathe in between protective hairstyles or three I was definitely going through a lot of stress um, during my last protective hairstyle I only had it for two and a half weeks, but I was interviewing for a role um, and I didn't get it and it sucked. <laughs> it, it sucks so much because I do not like my job. I worked for a very successful company uh, before and during the, pan the panoramic. Um, my job, well, my job, like I, I'm happy that I have the job. Because a lot of people have, you know, lost their jobs or, you know, 
got moved on to part time or whatever case may be. I've actually gotten bonuses and raises during this time, but I honestly do not like my role. I do not like my role at all. And I've been trying to grow within my company and it's been so hard to get go through all of these interviews and either not go through uh, with the interviewing process or just, you know, hear different things from different recruiters saying I was going to get, you know, selected or saying that, you know, I qualify knowing that I qualify, but then, you know, not getting the job. So it could have been that, you know, just the stress of just that <laughs> of wanting the job so bad, knowing that it was, it was pretty much mine, knowing, like thinking that it was already mine and then getting told that, you know, they moved on while the candidates. So it could have been that. And then lastly, it could have been, I, me and my boyfriend were doing a fast. We do a fast every January just to start off the new year. And this time around, we were sticking to fruits and vegetables. And it could have been just like that drastic change in my diet. I, when I say I eat healthy normally, but I eat kind of a regular based diet. So I don't know, me not eating protein, like as far as in cheese and in meat, it could have been that. I don't know. I don't know what it was because I was eating vegetables, but I would decide not to eat a lot because I don't like to eat a lot of vegetables and I don't like to eat a lot of fruit. So I'll probably eat once, maybe twice a day and they would be like small portions of stuff just to say I ate for that day. And during that time, I did lose about 10 pounds, which isn't a lot in a whole month, but for me it is. Cause I don't, my weight doesn't really fluctuate that much. Um, it does, but about five pounds, but 10, I don't know. So it could have been like that drastic change in my diet. Um, I don't know, but it sucks. It sucks so much, but my hair came out, I cut it. And now I'm just in the process of growing it out. And I know moving forward that I'm definitely going to give my hair time to breathe in between protective styles. And then, two, I'm going to change up my protective styles. So, you guys know I love mini braids. But right now, you guys can see I have braids in the front. And then I have sewing in the back. So, maybe I'll do styles kind of like this more often. Um twist I've never really tried twist so moving forward I do want to try twist out and see if that's more helpful for my hair um I'm definitely still going to use my version of hair fertilizer mix that has helped grow my hair tremendously and I do not I know for a fact that didn't cause my hair to break off but it could just be you know me manipulating my hair so often me just being stressed just kind of caused my hair to break off Cause it's not, it wasn't bald at all. It was, it was severely broken off though. <sighs> I don't know. It sucks. It definitely sucks. But I, I want to apologize for not filming in the past month because I honestly love making videos, but I was really just ashamed of myself because my hair was so badly broken off and I had to just start over and I just felt like I don't know fraud like dang like I'm making these videos about hair growth encouraging other women and like do I make a, a video on this like should I mention or should I just grow my hair out you know in silent and then come back and be like oh I grew my hair out you know <sighs> This video is very, like, it's it's hard to film because I am ashamed. <laughs> um, but I just want you guys to know, like, you have to do this. It just goes to show, like, you need to take care of yourself. And one last thing, my hair in the back is a different texture from the rest of my hair. I will watch all these videos on YouTube and be like, okay, so you got 3A, 4C, and for being your head, no, that doesn't make sense. Like, what? No, you have one head. But my hair in the back, when it's wet, 
it does not sh like it barely shrinks like you know people be like oh shrink it's so, like my hair in the back it would not shrink like it would not like the shrinkage it it didn't really happen in the back like it would be hanging in the back and then the rest of my hair would be like so short and like not mad it but my hair at the top of my head is so much different from my hair in the back and I feel like why my hair continues to grow at the top is because it can withstand the braids and maybe my porosity or just the texture in the back of my head just couldn't it couldn't keep up with the braids maybe that could be it i don't really know you guys let me know what you think happened in the back of my head but i don't know but i know moving forward that i do have to switch things up and i need to cater the back of my head to it like i one i need to figure out my porosity in the top and the back of my head and two i need to figure out like the hair type i know my hair type in the top is for four C, definitely four C, but the back it might be a different story. But yeah, it's okay. It's hair, it's gonna grow back, and you know, in the meantime, we just gonna get some cute hairstyles and we're just not gonna worry about it. We're not gonna worry about it. We're gonna get past this together, and I'm gonna film the whole process for you guys. But let me know if you guys want to see me do any other type of different videos. I know you guys fairly enjoyed my clothing hauls. So I will continue to do those. But let me know if you guys want to see me do anything else. Just let me know down below. But alright you guys, that's all I have for this video. We're going to grow our hair out together. Like we just got to be patient. But we gonna get there we're gonna get there together so leave a like down below if you guys truly did like this video leave a comment down below if you guys want to and do not forget to subscribe if you guys want to see my face again thank you guys so much for watching you guys have a great and blessed day bye